Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about um, something that crossed my mind while actually uh, playing a game, um, Persona 4 Golden. And that is the innocence of a child. How much I specifically adore that. Um, it's a little bit of a spoiler alert just as a back uh, story for why I wanted to talk about this really quick. If you're a gamer or you like anime and you want to either watch the anime or play the game Persona 4 Golden, um, I'm going to have a little bit of a spoiler here, so just a fair warning. We okay with this? Cool. So what happens is there's a point where the main protagonist, um, I forget his name, but I, I his full name, but I know... He goes, if you're an American, he goes by you, why you. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, you is approached by uh, someone who's watching over him throughout the story, uh, Dojina. Um, he approaches him and very this detective by the way um talks to him and approaches him in a very an extremely strict what could be mistaken as bullying or assault uh bear in mind it, it isn't it's just really 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 strict conversation um he starts confronting you, and this girl, the daughter of Dojima, by the way, Nanako, approaches him and asks him to stop. Now, the wording she uses very specifically shows how much that sure a child doesn't directly always understand circumstances going on but this child stuck up for bear in mind Nanako is like eight nine ten years old whereas the character the protagonist is like probably 18 19 20. Eh, okay, when he's probably like 16, 18. And when Nanako stood up for you, the wording that went into it, I'm not going to go into detail about it, but kind of, it showed this charm of how innocent a child can be. And after seeing that scene, made me think and made me start to adore the innocence of IRL children. Now bear in mind, this isn't always a good thing, but it also depends on the light you look at it from. The innocence of a child, it just basically means that the child just doesn't understand. And for the most part, given the right children, and a lot of the times this is the case, it's an adorable or charming thing. Um, it's, in my opinion, the innocence of a child is one of the most beautiful things that ever exist. Now this is my personal opinion. And this goes beyond the idea of physical beauty. I just mean, like, metaphorical beauty. But that, the beauty of the innocence of a child, it's that kind of thing where you see it and you wish you could go back to that time. You'll see that go if only they understood but at the same time you'll go you can't help but adore it 
Now, bear in mind, this innocence also has flaws. The innocence of a child also does have the flaw of they don't completely understand what's right, yes. Pardon, I knocked this thing. But they also don't exactly understand what is wrong. And because of this factor, that's where the innocence of a child can actually become kind of questionable. Well, not questionable, but that's probably the best word I can come up with off the fly. It's very hit and miss. That's the point of learning. When it comes to the downer side of the, uh, the innocence of a child, they may get things wrong. They may do something that's just bad, but they don't know. That's what parents, guardians, uh, teachers, good ones, mind you, are for. Because, admittedly, I'm willing to acknowledge that not every parent, not every guardian, and not every um, teacher, not all of them are good people. Whether or not they're good, it's a perspective thing. But not every single one matches that of the person that they're looking over or teaching, in a way. Not every time. And it could lead to bad outcomes. However, that doesn't brush aside the innocence itself. It just emphasizes on the idea that you're not going to help them understand if you don't try to think on the safe wavelength as them. When you do understand and you do start thinking on that same wavelength, that's when you'll start to also acknowledge the charm that I'm talking about. For me, I've always been a person, I, I, I've always adored children. Sure, yes, I'm willing to acknowledge that some of them can get kind of rowdy and pissy at times. But again, they don't understand. And it depends on how your approach to that is. Maybe it'll match up to them, maybe it won't. That also technically relies on the, and we've talked about this topic before uh, in parts, but that also relies on the eight stages of psycho psychosocial development, um, specifically the earlier ones. If you successfully get through the positive sides of it, it'll be easier for you to approach this factor it'll also be easier for them to accept what you're trying to tell them and take it into mind. That doesn't subside the innocence, though. The actions probably still will happen every once in a while. And even with that, there's still, like was pointing out at the beginning of all this, the actions that, sure, they don't understand but because they're so innocent, they'll always try to do what they think is beneficial, I should say. If they have that good innocent mind, they'll think they'll try to do what they think is right. And honestly, that's the charming aspect of it. That is the beautiful aspect of the innocence of a child. That want and or desire to go down that very specific path. To help those that they adhere to. But, yeah. These are my thoughts on the innocence of a child. I don't know. You guys think I missed any details on that factor? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel because we have discussion on rants like this all the time. There are over. I think there are. Over, how many do we have at this point? Hold on. I can pull that up in seconds.
Maybe. Or not. There's the playlist. Let's see. Right now, we have of discussion and rants. This is episode 319. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. Um, if you want to check out any other of those, there are a variety of them. They can be psychological, about real-life topics going on at the moment. They could be, you know, as the title states, either gener general discussion or rants. If you want to check any of that out, why not click the link inside my head over here where, yeah, you'll find, you'll find a lot of them. Um, if you want to check out anything that might float your butt a little bit more if you did stick to the end of this, first of all, thank you if you did. Uh, but second of all, again, if you want to check something out that might float your butt a little bit more, click the link on this side, and it may suit you a bit better. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in this video, guys, and we hope to see you all of you in another one. See you guys later.